Hey everyone, so those that know me know that I'm not the biggest fan of Christmas. It's not that I don't like the idea of Christmas, I do. Um, it's just I, I'm kind of like Charlie Brown. I don't like the all the extra stuff that comes with Christmas, all the extra fluff. Kind of like the commercialization and I don't know, like the idea of Santa and... I don't know, I just think there's a lot of issues with it that takes away from the idea of charity and the birth of Christ and his mission here on earth. That's what I think we need to focus on, but I feel like that gets missed out um, amongst the hot chocolate and the reruns of Elf on TV. I wasn't sure what to expect for this holiday season because of COVID, how people were going to react um, to the holidays. And to my surprise, this has probably been the most heartwarming Christmas I've ever experienced. I think I'm starting to have my Grinch moment because I used to be kind of cynical about Christmas. But this holiday season has definitely changed my mind in many ways. The first thing that made me realize that things were a little bit different this holiday season was everybody wanted to experience Christmas as soon as possible. The minute um, it turned, even like after Halloween, people were starting to put up their Christmas trees and their lights and everything. And they, uh, they really wanted, maybe because they were all stuck at home, but they really want to decorate and start feeling the Christmas like environment or like the Christmas spirit sooner, right? And I kind of rolled my eyes about this. Um, I don't really decorate, but it was interesting to see everyone's posts about their Christmas trees and all their decorations that they're posting up in already like in October and November. But then what I started noticing was like people were just being much more charitable than normal. And I and then that happens to a point in Christmas, in the Christmas season, you know, in general. But this year, I felt like it was happening every single day. At my job alone, I feel like almost every single coworker that I work with like gave me something, even though even if it was, you know, a chocolate or it was a gift card or it was uh, whatever, I received something from almost everyone, uh, which did not happen last year. Like um, we, I did receive one or two things, but it wasn't just me. It was like all my whole staff that I manage also was given things. Um, my executive director um, one day dropped by my desk and then dropped off a bunch of letters. And then she directed me to pass them all to my employees. And I was like, okay, sounds good. It seemed like it was gonna be a holiday letter for everyone, you know, thanking them for their work. Um, and then she gave me one for myself and I opened it and it was a letter, but it also had uh, like money in it, which I was super surprised about because I've never received any money working at my place. It's a nonprofit organization and usually they don't give out money. And then I noticed that all the other letters for my staff also had money in them. Now it wasn't like a crazy amount, but it was like the idea behind it, even if, um, it wasn't a large amount of money. They were willing to share something with us. And I know money isn't the point of the holidays. I appreciated where it came from. It came from the organization. And because I think they knew that this holiday season was going to be tough for a lot of people. And even if they can go buy themselves a dinner, you know, that'd be a nice way of celebrating the holidays. And then aside from that, um, I just kept on receiving just little gifts were drop being dropped off by my desk all the time. And this wasn't even just coworkers. People that came into my job were also constantly dropping off treats, were constantly dropping off like cards and thank you cards. Today, a member who um, started coming in during COVID, he ordered pizza for my staff. It was just super random, just super, it's something he really wanted to do. He just called me and he's like, hey, uh, what do you guys want? What kind of pizza do you guys want? Um, he's not he doesn't work there. He's just some guy that comes in and it's been super cool because I've been able to also give in many ways. I've had close friends that have gone COVID who I've had the opportunity to drop things off or even buy dinner. And it's been super nice to be able to help them um, when they're feeling isolated and for feeling alone or they just want to talk. 
I think a consequence of having your social circles so much smaller in general is you appreciate the people who are around you even more. Those people that you do choose to stay connected to are just much more important and you appreciate them more and you want to show that appreciation. Even if it's the person you see every day at the grocery store or, or where you go do your laundry, these interactions that used to be just pretty regular are not just more appreciated. You know, these people are pe people you are sharing with uh, moments and those moments are much more uh, guarded and much more like focused, I feel like, because of the number of people you see during a day. I was sitting at church um, just last week and the church meeting we had was a pretty regular church meeting. It was, it touched upon some elements of like Christmas, but we didn't sing all the like the happy like um, Christmas songs like Hark the Herald Angels Sing, um, you know, Silent Night. Uh, we, we sang some other just more older traditional like hymns and I was like bothered by it, which is strange because I don't really care about those things. I don't really care about you know, singing like Christmas carols. I don't really, normally I'm just like, uh, I'm just really like whatever about that. But I really freaking want to sing Hark the Herald Angels Sing. Um, but we didn't sing it and I was pissed. I, I just really want to do more Christmassy stuff. I want to feel more of the Christmas spirit um, this holiday season, which is very different for me. So I think you can say that my heart grew three sizes this Christmas. And I do want to thank everyone that has like reached out to me during this holiday season because I do appreciate um, all my relationships here and those that I interact with and I get to talk to and spend time with um, even if it's limited sometimes. Um, I really hope you guys have a great holiday and a great Christmas and even if it's a little bit more of an isolated Christmas I hope you are still able to feel that holiday and Christmas spirit. Alright, stay safe out there. Bye. <laughs>